I've never been ashamed to say I work for Columbus Castings and I mean I get the excitement of this is I mean this is so much history and to be a founderman you know is, is something to get excited about and to be part of like a brotherhood here. Iron making was a big deal in this town from the 1880s on because the Hocking Valley Railroad came in in the 1870s and opened up immense quantities of iron and coal and wood to Columbus companies. The company that's Buckeye's Hill, that company eventually found its niche in making railroad couplers out of cast iron. The company that had started out as the Hayden Iron Foundry came, went over and became the Buckeye Malleable Iron Foundry Company, later the Buckeye Steel Castings Company, and basically did their business making those railroad couplers and other iron goods. In 1902, they left the North End came down here to the south end and opened up this massive factory that's behind us and then proceeded to move over to steel rather than iron to make their couplings, ultimately becoming the Buckeye Steel Castings Company and then today evolving into the Columbus Castings Company. People on the street most of the time refer to us as Columbus Castings. We still have some people that come in that say, is this Buckeye Steel? We're pushing 900 people. Um, right now we're about 885. I've actually worked in Foundry Human Resources for, I'm pushing nine years. And what I like about it, to be quite honest, is this work isn't for everybody. And, and, and what I do isn't for everybody. This is tough, tough work. Um, people get a little edgy at times because the work is physically demanding. It's hard. Um, I like that. I don't mind. I'm, I'm a straightforward, blunt, honest guy. I'm an I'm a honest person, kid from the country is what I like to say. I um, grew up on a farm, still live on a farm. so. This work and, and what I do on the weekends and what I do at home kind of go hand in hand and I like it. It get a little warmer here, but at the end of the day, you get a nice check, you know, so you get benefits, so you can take care of your family and your kids. You get all your health benefits, you get medical, I mean, we get good, good, good salary. I mean, it's, 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 nice. it's, it's a good place, it's all that special trying to build a foundation for yourself, you and your family. This was one of the most important factories in the city. It employed hundreds of people and had a huge economic impact and created a wide variety of products that had both national and international significance. The other interesting thing is the manager, general superintendent of this company, the president of it, is a man named Samuel Prescott Bush, who will end up being the grandfather of one president and the great-grandfather of another. Personally, I came from a different industry. I was, uh, uh, I came from more of an assembly uh, manufacturing background for 20 years, but nowhere near a foundry. I was a metal stamping, injection molding, die casting, very clean facility uh, type of person. I came here and, and toured this shop and just fell in love with, you know, one, the people, and two, this is a real, true American job. I mean, this is something that not just everybody wants to do. And, you know, you just, you, you know, I had all this admiration and go, wow, this is what I want to do. I want to be part of this. You know, I want to help a group like this survive because there's not many of these type of jobs and industries in the U.S. today. They've all died and, and withered away. We do a good bit of industrial business, a lot of mining, you know, castings for the mining industry. Big dump trucks and, you know, big excavators. We do the mass transit where we do the undercarriage for all the people carriers, uh, Amtrak, light rail, those type of things. Right now we're producing parts for Amtrak. What we're looking at here is our industrial and mass transit molding core making line. These guys will make 80 to 90 pieces every four hours and it'll take that many to manufacture a mass transit frame which is a people carrying undercarriage. We do core making, we do molding, uh, we do the melting process and then uh, the components go through a finishing, lengthy finishing process which uh, does burning, annealing and then final gauging. Well Buckeye Steel Castings and later Columbus Castings here was an important company in town for a variety of reasons, not the least of which the management of this company was very much concerned with the welfare of its workers. So way ahead of other companies, not just here in Columbus but around the state and around the country, 
Buckeye Steel was involved in building housing for its workers, providing welfare for its workers, providing recreation programs for its workers, so it had a significant social and cultural impact on the South End as well as an economic one. Columbus Castings is a reminder that at one time Columbus was a steel town. There were four steel mills located down here on the South End. Now it wasn't a big steel town like Cleveland or Youngstown, but we shouldn't ignore the fact that steel was a significant part of this town for quite a long time, and with Columbus Castings, it still is.